Hi, this is Alex from PHP Academy and welcome to this video on an introduction to jQuery. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at is uh, what is jQuery? We're going to take a look at the website. Um, it's a pretty decent website with a lot of information about jQuery. Um, we're also going to look at why we might be using it and we're going to be looking at a couple of examples as well. Okay, so what is jQuery? Well, if you head over to jQuery.com, you can already see a very short description of what jQuery actually is. And then the last paragraph, which is probably the most important concept uh, surrounding jQuery, is jQuery is designed to change the way that you write JavaScript. Okay, so essentially it is a JavaScript library. Um, we're not going to be looking at simplifying HTML, uh, HTML document traversing, but we're going to be looking mainly at event handling, animating, and also AJAX interactions. So when we look at AJAX on or rather in its simpler form, or in its raw form, uh, we tend to find it's quite complicated. So jQuery is gonna simplify that for us as well. So, um, we're yeah, like I said, we're mainly focusing on them three elements of jQuery. Um, the fact that it is lightweight, um, which is another benefit of jQuery, means that it won't increase page load time too much. Uh, if we just take a look over here, you can see that the production version of jQuery is 31 kilobytes. So as you can imagine, this won't have a significant load time or an impact on the load time of your page. Uh, we're going to talk more about the production and the development uh, differences a bit later on. Okay, so we've seen that it's lightweight. We have a lightweight footprint. Uh, it's CS3 uh, CSS3 compliant. Uh, it's really important due to the standards of websites today. Uh, obviously, we uh, validate our CSS and our HTML um, using validation services. And probably the most interesting and, and most impressive is that it is cross-browser compatible. So if you've written JavaScript uh, before um, and it hasn't worked on some browsers and it has worked on other browsers, because obviously it's important to test uh, the pages that you're creating on other browsers to sh ensure that they are uh, compatible as well, then you'll be glad to know that jQuery is cross-browser compatible. So you'll get instant compatibility with all ma major browsers and the versions. So we've got IE 6.0, Firefox 2.0, Safari 3.0, and these are all upward, so they're always essentially going to work. Uh, Opera and then all versions of Chrome. Okay, so let's go out and take a look at this production and development and the difference between production and development. So let's just um, think about what we might want to do with a production or a development version. Now, production version is a, a minified and gzip version of uh, the uncompressed code, and essentially this is what you want to use if you have if you want to essentially just write. Uh, in jQuery. So if you want to use the jQuery library on your website, you would download the production version. Because we have to include jQuery on every every page that we use it, uh, we actually need to uh, keep this relatively fast. However, we also have a development version. In fact, let's just take a look at the production version first of all. Uh, you can see that uh, we have, it's been um, it's been compressed so it's a lot smaller. Uh, it doesn't really make much sense to the human eye. Um, the development version, however, is if you would want to either manually modify jQuery to work in different ways. Uh, you might not want to do that, but the main benefit of this development uncompressed version is if you want to write your own plugins. Um, plugins are available um, to download to use in addition to the standard jQuery library. However, we're going to take a look at that when we come to it. Okay, so um, we have the development version. If we were just to click on this and click download, you can see that the code looks a lot more readable um, as it's just plain JavaScript. Okay, so the next thing we're going to take a look at is um, the, the fact that some people do actually disagree with the use of jQuery. They find it's unnecessary to use this shorthand library and some people would say it's lazy. However, there are um, there isn't one main benefit that I've found is that you're using the same standard again and again from the same library, and obviously the team at jQuery will always be updating the version of jQuery, so you're always going to get a standard and everything's going to be built on top of it, and you're going to get the you know let's just give an example if you were to create one website with jQuery and you were to use um, shorthand jQuery uh, notation to access the jQuery library. You're using the same standard as um, well jQuery. If you were to come over to another website and use jQuery again, 
you're not changing the code that you've really used. You're using the same library and therefore you are keeping the same standard across all of your projects. And you can see that the uh, there's a major use of jQuery among very popular companies and company websites. So that's probably another great reason that you should use it because you should follow, su follow suit from all these great companies. Okay, so there's a section on the jQuery.com website. You can go across to this now if you haven't already and actually click on this run code. Now bear in mind when I click this button, this code here is the only code that we've used to actually actually get this effect from this. So let's go ahead and click on it. So you can see that that's just nicely scrolled out and we've shown a uh, box with some text in. So you might not believe it if you've never used jQuery before, but this line here was the only thing required to actually open that box up. It's um, a paragraph element. Open that paragraph element up and actually uh, display that. So jQuery is actually extremely easy to use as well. Okay, so I may have missed some points about jQuery, but this is a general idea of what jQuery is, why we use it, the benefits of using it, and I've taken you around the jQuery website, so you should be comfortable using it. Uh, there is very well documented um, information. Well, we have a uh, jQuery has a great document documentation for the library, so you can go there whenever you need to find help with specific things uh, to do with jQuery. However, this is the general idea of jQuery. We use it to shorthand JavaScript. We have animations and uh, most interestingly, our Ajax interact interactions. Okay, so that's a basic introduction to jQuery. And in the next video, we're actually gonna look at how we can add jQuery to our web page and then start to use some effects.